This video will talk about 7.3, estimating a population standard deviation or variance. One thing we need to recall is a variance is standard deviation squared. We use sigma to represent population standard deviation and sigma squared for population variance. Similarly, we use S for sample standard deviation and S squared for sample variance. The reason why we can estimate a population standard deviation or variance is because, is because variance is an unbiased estimator. And in a normally distributed population, the sample variances are distributed like the graph below. We call this kind of distribution chi-square distribution. In this graph, we have two chi-square distribution, uh, one with a degree of freedom equal to 10, the other one has degree of freedom equal to 20. So remember, degree of freedom is equal to sample size minus one. We can tell for each chi-square distribution, uh, the curve is not symmetric, but skewed to the right. And with different degree of freedom or different sample size, the curve looks different. And also you can tell there are no negative chi-square value. The smallest possible value in theory is zero. to construct a confidence interval for population standard deviation or variance, you have to satisfy the following two requirements. First is the sample must be a simple random sample. The second requirement is the population must have normally distributed values. So this second requirement is kind of strict and it must be uh, from a normally distributed values. To calculate this confidence interval by hand is a little bit complicated in calculation, so I will only show uh, how to find the confidence interval by using StatCrunch. Let's look at this problem. A, cli a clinical trial was conducted to test the effectiveness of a drug used for treating insomnia in older subjects. After treatment with the drug, 18 subjects had a mean wake time of 96.3 minutes and a standard deviation of 43.6. Assume that the 18 sample values appear to be from a normally distributed population and construct a 98% confidence interval estimate of the standard deviation of the wake time for a population with drug treatments. Okay, let's look at the first part. Find the confidence interval. So here I'm going to use that crunch. You can Click here, question help, under StatCrunch. Okay, there it is. All right. So where I will go to is under stat, go to variance stats. And here, since we're given the summary, go to one sample with summary. Okay, sample variance. So notice that we're asked to put sample variance in the blank and what's given to us, the standard deviation of 43.6, this is a standard deviation. So you need to square that 43.6 to make it the variance. I'll just do this squared. That's the sample variance. Sample size is 18. Okay, I want confidence interval. All right, the confidence level is 98%, so 0 0.98. And I will 
put compute. All right, here you have a lower limit and upper limit for the confidence uh, interval for the variance, right? What's given here is the variance. So that means the variance is estimated to between these two values. Uh, the lower bound is 967. I'll do 304. The upper bound is 5,043.310. Okay. So we're asked to find the confidence interval for the standard deviation. So what you need to do is square root the given values here so that you can find the confidence interval for standard deviation. Okay, round my answer to the nearest hundredth will be uh, 31.10 to 71.02. Okay, that was the first part of the question. Second, does the result indicate whether the treatment is effective? Well, what we're, we found here was the confidence interval for standard deviation, right? It doesn't tell you anything about the drug is effective or not. It's just telling you the standard deviation. So I will pick this A, no, the confidence interval does not indicate whether the treatment is effective. Now let's look at this problem. All right, 12 different video games showing substance use were observed and the duration of times of video play in seconds are listed below. The design of the study justifies the assumption that the sample can be treated as simple, simple random sample, so satisfy the first requirement. Use the sample data to construct a 95% confidence interval estimate of sigma, the standard deviation of the duration times of gameplay. Assume that this sample were obtained from a population with a normal distribution. So second requirement satisfied also. All right, so I'm going to use StatCrunch to solve this problem. So open the data in StatCrunch. Okay, so I will go stat, variance stat. Here is with data, one sample with data. Pick the variable one, this column, and the confidence interval, I forgot what it was, 95%. Okay, so 0 0.95, great. So I will click uh, compute here. Okay. So here are the values. The lower limit is this, and the upper limit is this. But remember, what's given here is the lower limit and upper limit, limit for the variance. To find the standard deviation, you need to square root these two values. So the square root of this uh, 52,806.983 is, I'm going to type it here, um, rounded to one decimal place. So, 229.8. All right, so now the upper limit is square root of this value. The upper limit is round to the nearest de uh, tenth is 550.8. And check the answer is correct.